Hi, welcome to the Eastern Township School Board series of videos. In this module, we're going to look at the preferences in Moodle, part of the Introduction to Technologies course. Now, there are many different preferences in Moodle, so let's go to Moodle. Now, I'm already logged in, and how do you get to your preferences and what are they for? Well, first of all, we go to your name up here and you select Preferences. Now, there are a lot of different preferences inside of Moodle, so we're going to look at all the important ones, and we're pretty much going to touch on all of them. So, what does that do? Well, it basically changes the way you interact with Moodle, or that Moodle communicates with you. So, the first user um, account preferences is how to edit your profile. Now, you can click here, but the much faster way to get to it, as we've seen in a previous module, is just clicking on your name and clicking on Edit Profile. Now, whether I do it from here or there, it's the exact same thing. So it's not a real preference. It basically lets you uh, put in all your information as we've seen in the previous module. So let's go back to my preferences here by using the navigation sub bar. The second thing we can do here is to change our password. Now, we do not need to do that since we've actually logged in with Google. But if you logged in any different way, you can click here and change your password. It gives you the rule as to how to change your password. Once again, we do not need to do this. Going back to preferences, next is the preferred language. Now, there's only two language right now. There's English and French. Now, French isn't completely um, translated, so right now we're just going to leave it to English. The next one is the forum preferences. Now, you'll see in the next modules there are forums, blogs, there's also badges. So let's just look at forum first. There's quite a few things in here, so let me explain. The first one is the email digest type. There are three different um, settings that you can choose. Now, no digest, complete, or subject. Now, this is very well explained when you click here. Basically, no digest, you'll receive one email per forum post, which is kind of intrusive if you are in forums a lot. You get the digest, which will send you the complete post, but you'll only receive one digest per day that will contain the complete contents of each forum post. Or you can have the digest with the subjects only, which is the preferred method I, for me. You'll receive one email per day that will contain the subject of each forum post, then you can click on and get to them. So if I want to select this one, I will select subjects. Uh, the forum auto subscribe. So yes, when I post, subscribe me to the forum or no, don't automatically subscribe me to the forum discussions. You can pick either one or the other. Now the exper experimental nested discussion view here is yes or no. It's, it's a bit of a, a weird thing, but basically what it does is it gives you, uh, it's the very uh, obscure definition enabling this will make available a new discussion view so basically it changes the way that you can see forums if you turn that on so let me just get back out of here so you can leave it on or leave it off now here you've got the forum tracking the forum tracking no don't keep track of forums I have seen or yes if you select yes you'll notice that when sending forum post notification this is blank but when you select yes this will be highlighted and you have two choices you can mark the post as red or you can don't you could not mark the post as red if you want to so either yes or no for marking the post as red so these are the forum preferences as always as we'll see in those preferences always save your changes it's tempting to click on the red button but click on save changes and that will bring us back to our preferences now the editor preferences this has to do with the editor so i've just got a second tab up here now an editor inside of moodle looks like this this is the default so you got your choice of the uh, style that you want to use if you want to make something bold or italic if you want bullet or numbered lists uh, if you want to put links in here images record video record sound put some file and then if you click the arrow you got a lot more choices so that is the default text editor in here so let me just show you. There are four different editors you can choose from. The uh, Atto HTML, the Tiny HTML, and the Plain Text. I'm not going to show you them all. I'm just going to show you what the Plain Text would look like. So I'm going to select that, save my changes. 
then I'm going to go back to my profile here and I'm just going to refresh the page with command R or control R depending if you're on a Mac or PC and I'm going to reload so this is the plain text now you'll see different codes in here this is basically HTML code that you can write yourself if you want for example something bold uh, you can do that but basically it's just plain text so not very interesting and then at the bottom here you can see it's using the HTML format but you can also pick four different choices here so let me just go back to my preferences my editor preferences so there's really no reason to change it from the default editor so I'm just gonna say my changes go back in here refresh my page and then you can see we're back with the default editor so that's what this preference is about the course preferences so this only has one checkbox so it's a fairly obscure one but again you should leave it on because what it'll do is if you go over what's called an activity you'll have a pop down or drop down menu that will give you more choices if you prefer to have something that is a bit more complex you can turn it off and I'll give you uh, instead of a short description it will actually give you a pop down menu so I personally prefer to go over an activity and see a short description as opposed to having another drop down menu so I'm just gonna leave it like that and click cancel now our next preferences are the calendar preferences now the calendar preferences has a few more choice first of all your time display you can choose 12 hours or 24 hours I like 24 hours you can decide that the first day of the week will be on a Monday or a Sunday if you prefer uh, you can have the maximum of upcoming event you can also have the uh, look ahead for different weeks and you can also remember the filter settings yes or no it's always good to remember your settings because that way you don't have to continuously change them so I'm gonna save my changes here so we've seen all of these now the next one is the message preferences now the message preferences is on the right of your screen here and basically it's a very important one for your privacy you can restrict who can message you you can have only your contacts or your contacts and people in your own course you can be notified by email if you decide not to be notified by email you'll get a little uh, prompt here that you've got a message so you'll probably get a little one next to the bubble here the talk bubble and a notification right there um, you pr you can also enter to send um, as opposed to just having to click to, to write and it will send it automatically um, if you le leave that on you basically have to press enter in order for you to send your text which is good so I'm just going to leave email on and I'm going to leave everyone in my course so once you're done here you just go back to your settings as you can see and these are your settings for uh, sorry th this is just your your um, your texting and your chatting so we'll see that in a different module so let me just go back to my preferences and go to my notification preferences now notification preferences there's quite a lot of choice so your assignments your feedback your forum your lessons inside the actual system manual enrollment paypal so on and so forth so as you can see here there's two different columns the web and email so web is actually on this side here is it going to warn you here or on email if you don't want to receive an email for your assignment you can just turn it off by clicking on them you can turn them on on the web that way you'll be notified when you're logged into moodle so pretty simple you can just go through the list and turn things on and off I'll just put them back to where they were as always don't forget that at the very bottom um, usually you have the save button but in this particular case it's a toggle switch so you don't need to save it because it will automatically remember that so let me just go back to my preferences and the final one here is the linked logins now the linked logins basically would let you create or link a new account but if I click here it'll tell me that I'm already linked with my Google account so I'll just get a warning that the external account is already logged in so there's nothing to do here so let me go back to my preferences there's two left blogs and badges now for blog preferences if I click here it's basically gonna ask me how many entries per blog page do you want so you can put as many as you want the default is 10 I'll go back to my blog preferences now the other thing you can do here is you can actually register an external blog those things are linked in that if I don't register an external blog when I go here 
I won't be able to select one. So I'm just going to go back here and register an external plug. Now here you have to use an RSS feed. It will not accept anything else. If you do have an R RSS feed and you know what it is, you just put the link here. You put the name of your blog, a short description of it. You can put little tags so that people can find them. And that's pretty much it. We're not going to discuss that much further. So I'm just going to go back to my preferences. The last preferences are your badges. Now badges, there's a little module that explains what a badge is. I'm just going to show you your preferences here. So when I click on the badge preferences, I can automatically show badges I earn on my profile page. Now your profile page is visible by people. People can view your profile when they click on your name. So if you want to have badges show up, turn it on. If you do not want that, turn it off. It's that simple. And as always, save your changes. So that's a very quick tour at all the preferences inside of Moodle.